Weather alert day continues through tonight and into the start of the weekend. However, conditions are slowly improving out there. The Coal River at Tornado still in a flood stage, but slowly starting to fall right now. Bigger concerns are along the Mud River, especially around Milton, where we were at a major flood stage a couple hours ago. Well, now the river is starting to crest and recede, dropping a little bit through tonight. That doesn't mean the flooding is going to stop, though. We're going to have several areas of the roadways that will be flooded over through this evening. That will make some dangerous travel conditions, and that's one reason why this weather alert is in effect. A second reason, though, is it will be very slippery outside as temperatures drop this evening. Now, the last couple of days, especially yesterday, Thursday, we had over three inches of rain in both Charleston and Huntington. In fact, Thursday was the wettest day around here in a long time. And to have all of that rain, even though most of it has now stopped, all of the rivers continue to flow as water runs into them, and that therefore floods the creeks and the streams. And here's one picture here sent to us through Chime In from Penny Connor, really showing this river here flowing completely over its banks in places and in a major flood stage. That also could mean a concern for mudslides once the rivers recede and you have a lot of soil, the ground very moist, that could make it loose and cause another hazard. Fallen trees, a concern as well. The ground not very solid after a good soaking of rain. So if you have any more pictures or anything of the flooding or any damage, make sure to send them to us at WCHSTV.com slash chime in. So flooding safety tonight and also for tomorrow morning as well. If you encountered a flooding roadway or an area where the road is wet and puddled over, do not try to drive through it. Turn around, don't drown. Okay, especially at nighttime, you cannot tell how deep that water is. Just a couple feet of flowing water can knock your vehicle into a dangerous position. A flood watch means that flooding is possible. Again, we do have some warnings in effect right now through tonight, especially as the rivers and creeks still continue to flood over their banks. Make sure you have a good way to receive these alerts as well, even through the evening with the situation developing. River flood warning in effect for the Coal River. This goes until very early tomorrow morning. That's in the light green there, just to the west of Charleston. And in the dark green is general flood warnings for a lot of the region here, south of I-64 and west. That goes through at least 10 o'clock tonight with possible extensions as well. We've been dealing with some snow showers today. A lot of snow showers. Some of them have been heavy at times, mostly now limited to the eastern mountains. Also a few snow showers in the southeast Ohio, Oak Hill and Portsmouth pushing through. But most of that activity will be drying up aside from a few snowflakes, a couple accumulations in the lower elevations, but just a little bit. The bigger concern is once those clouds clear up tonight and the high pressure moves in from the middle of the country, that will calm the winds down and really freeze up anything that not only sticks to the ground, but also the rivers and the water that's puddled on the ground could easily freeze up and make some slippery travel to start the weekend. So skies clearing out tonight will be well into the 20s, if not into the teens for Saturday morning, and that will mean some slippery conditions. So if you're traveling in the morning, it will be cold and slippery, especially those roadways that are near the creeks, rivers and streams that may have had flooding last night. Very easy to freeze over with temperatures well below freezing. Nice day on Saturday, mostly sunny skies. A little bit more cloud cover overnight in the Sunday, but Sunday not too bad. Once the clouds clear out in the afternoon, a stronger southerly wind. So pretty breezy on Sunday, most sunny skies getting warmer before our next storm system moves in with some rain for Monday there around lunchtime, a good amount of it. And mostly cloudy skies for Monday. Temperatures continuing to rise. Very cold for your morning there on Saturday before getting very warm in the afternoon, mid 40s. So not bad for this time of the year, though, down to 18 for tonight. A quick look at the seven day forecast. President's Day Monday in the 50s. Rain showers, mostly cloudy skies, and then much warmer into next week, 69 Wednesday, and into the 70s for Thursday, mostly sunny skies, a couple opportunities for a rain shower.